So we are back doing our uh, our meatless exploration. And I've been wondering how the restaurant, how restaurants that are coming up with their own meatless brands and supermarkets are going to do with coming up with their own brands. Well, Kroger seems to have really hit the ground running. Simple Truth, which is the Kroger brand and sold at all Kroger stores, including, uh, I believe, Ralph's and Fred Meyer, has plant-based meatless kielbasa. Now I don't see, oh yes I do, this says vegan and uh, true enough in the ingredients there is nothing I would not consider vegan. Uh, water, wheat, gluten, wheat gluten seems to be the, the mainstay. Then uh, wheat protein isolate seems to be the protein. Uh, apple cider vinegar, yeast extract, cane sugar, not corn syrup and that's good for me. Onions, cultured sugar, that's still either beet sugar or cane sugar. Vinegar, spices, garlic powder, garlic, and smoke flavor. Hopefully this is going to be okay. Preparation instructions, remove sausage from packaging, brown on an outdoor grill or in a saute pan with a little oil using medium heat. Avoid overcooking. Overcooking seems to be the main <laughs> seems to be the main requirement for all meatless products, which is great. And we're gonna have this with the potato. I'm also having chicken because we, we, we need meat protein in our diet. Also, uh, garlic on rosemary skewers. And in the kitchen is some lovely vegetable soup puree. So hopefully, this is gonna this is gonna go okay. It looks normal like sausage. It looks normal to you, Che. Like, it does, yeah. It looks nice. It feels really firm. It looks a bit like um, oh, there's, there's a type of German sausage, the, the white ones. I can't remember. It does look kind of like a form of kielbasa. I mean, kielbasa doesn't necessarily yeah. have to be dark or red. Yeah. That looks very nice. Like you got herbs in them or something. There are spices, which is good. The packaging is pretty tough. I'm, I'm surprised. The packaging is really, it's really thick plastic. Here we go. Wow, that is like rock solid. That has- Wow, that looks nice, yeah. That has no give to it at all. A nice formation, it actually, it smells spicy. Oh yeah. Oh, it smells lovely. It smells spicy, but and that looks exactly like a sausage. I mean, it's you exactly know. formed like a sausage and has you know the little Oscar Mayer, you know, yeah. pinch at the end. And these are 250 calories per serving. Serving size is one sausage. In our case, serving size is two. Packages, sausages. two packages each. Yeah, two packages <laughs> each. Yeah. No, we'll have we'll have all four, but um, we've been on a pretty hefty walk today, and we are really hungry. So I think I'm gonna put on the potatoes first, and then we can go ahead and uh, take some photos. I don't think these are gonna change color, or I well, I don't really think they're gonna change color except to brown up a little bit. I don't expect them to change texture too much. No, and they probably cook in no time. They probably cook in no time, so I really need to start the potatoes first. Yeah, the potatoes and the chicken will have to cook first. Yeah. And of course, what did we have here? Yeah, the garlic on rosemary skewers. I ran out of I ran out of bamboo skewers and I have not been able to get any in the store. So I was talking to a friend last night and I said, well, I should just run out of totally joking. I said, oh, I should just run down and grab some rosemary. And we both stopped yeah. and went, oh, that's actually a really great idea. So whole garlic on rosemary skewers. I think these are pretty much done. They're definitely oh, hot to the touch. They're still firm. They're much darker though. They don't smell spicy. They have a different, more herbal aroma to them now. We'll, we'll try a nibble. So the inside is still as white as it was when it started cooking. 
Yeah, it's definitely it's steaming hot. Block first, I think they're called those sausages I was thinking of. Yeah. That's kind of what yeah. they look like. I'll fry a piece. Mm. Mm. Now remember, our aim is to find a sausage that's as meat-like as possible. It's a nice spring to it. It's very tasty. Mm. I don't know about it being meat Maybe? like I've had um like the Beyond sausages, though they are really meaty. I think we've been spoiled by Beyond, mm. Beyond and Impossible. But these are, are very pleasant, but in um, like a Christmas stuffing kind of way. Like yeah, stuffing. they don't taste like meat at all. It's very spicy. Yeah, they're, they're very tasty. It's very typical wheat gluten, yeah. um, wheat gluten meatless formula. Yeah, they're, they're very tasty, but um, not very meat-like. They're, they're uh, great for slicing. If yeah. you put these on a bun, you're going to need a ton of toppings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To you're get through eat, the yeah. wheat gluten flavor. Well, yeah, I mean, if you'd some like fried mushrooms, fried onions, mustard, they'd be very, very tasty. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe but a not curry very sauce. -like. No, maybe a not curry very sauce, meat like. Yeah. Um, these wouldn't be top of my list to get again, but I don't regret getting them. They're not. No, they're know. they're. They're lovely. And they're very easy to slice. They're very easy to slice. So. Yeah. Um. They have a nice texture. It's just not, it not like the Beyond sausages. I really like sausages. Yeah. These not so much. Garlic but I do like good. the taste. Yeah. Yep. They are, uh, they're very nice. They're very nice. They're, mm -hmm. I'll say they're nice. <laughs> they're not woohoo. Yeah, they're just nice. Yeah. I think Kroger went the very typical fast and dirty way of developing it. Catering yeah. to. Well, how long are these out? Do we know? Since uh, September of 2019. Yeah, I mean, they should have been looking more towards um, impossible food yeah. and the, the beyond food stuff. If they wanted to go, well, yeah, if, if they, they wanted, wanted to, to go, stuff, you know, yeah. real... Uh, there we go. There's the back. Yeah. We do, know, we do know that vegan sausage, vegan burgers are still selling pretty oh, fast. Crazy. Yeah, they're selling like crazy, especially at health food stores. Yeah. Not so much at places like Walmart. But at places, uh, places yeah. like Kroger, Ralph, Safeway, they're selling. They're Fred selling Meyer, all right. Fred yeah. Meyer, yeah, they're selling all right. So yeah. we may see, we may see an um, an expansion of the Simple Truth plant-based lines. Yeah, and if you look at them on the stock exchange, they're doing pretty well right now. So yeah, yeah. that is true. Yeah, which is good. So uh, out of five stars, what would you get? Give them a three. Yeah, I it's think a three. I think probably a three. Middling, you know, if, has, if, uh, other, if other options weren't available, I'd yeah. be happy to eat them. That has nothing to do with taste, but it's more, the, I'd knock two stars off for texture. I mean, it's not, they're, they're very delicious. They're just not very meat-like. Yeah. And that's kind of what you want, what you're expecting, you know, uh, with sausages. If, if, we're, if you're somebody like us who is mm -hmm. going from meat to a meat replacement, but we still want to be heavily reminded of, of meat. Yeah, yeah. Then, yeah, that's, you know, you get a... It's, they're more like kind of very compressed um, Christmas stuffing, you yeah. know, in the shape of a sausage. That, that's how I describe it, you know. So, okay. Yeah. Good.